Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the reporting section of the project module. It's very important to check the, you know, status of the project which is running in your system. Okay, it's very important because only then you will understand how the status is and how your project is moving. And if you want to add any kind of additional, you know, things to it, you can do that. So Odoo is providing this task analysis where you can examine your task as well as your project. And then if there is any improvement required, you can use it or you can do it accordingly. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the video and see how to manage the task analysis. Now let's take a look at the reporting of the project management. Okay. So for that, I'm opening the project module over here and here you have the reporting menu. So click on that and under the reporting menu, you have this task analysis. So it's really important to analyze your task, which is going inside your project, right? You have to follow up it correctly and you should know what the progress of the task is, what the status of the task is. So only then you will understand if there's anything to be added on to the project, okay? So if any special attention is needed, any special works or efforts are needed, okay? So you will know the weak areas and so on. So it's very much useful, uh, you know, to take a look at the task analysis. So this is basically the task analysis. So it currently shows the different projects and the count of the project. So I'll sh show you the measures. So count is the default thing and if you want to change it to allocated time or days to deadline, it will show that. If you want to see the overtime, that will also be shown. Similarly, you have all those things. I'm putting back to count. Okay. So you have so much task, I mean measures, you can add anything. But the thing is that one at a time. You can see the different colors which shows to the different status of the project. Which like the new, in progress, done, none, planned, cancelled, internal and sub. This is the bar chart where you can see the descending as well as ascending order. Okay. And this is the stacked view of the bar chart. Let's move on to the line chart. This is the line chart, which is the stacked view of the line chart. If you remove the stacked view, this is how it looks like. And here you have the cumulative view of the same. Okay. So this is also, uh, I mean, this can also be viewed in descending and ascending order. And then we have the pie chart. So each color represents to, you know, each sale orders and all. So you can see the measure over here. Okay, so that's how it works. You can see the count here based on different sale orders. So that's the graphical analysis. So here, this is the pivot view of the task analysis where you have the total as well as the count, the allocated time, the hours spent, the remaining total hours, overtime and all. So you can see the different you know projects over here and based on the project, you can see the count, the allocated time, the hours spent and all those things. So currently it shows only measures which are marked over here. If you want to add on more, you can simply choose it from here. See, progress has been added. Okay, if you want to add the days to deadline, that can also be added over here. So based on your needs, you can add on the measures. You can insert it into a spreadsheet. You can flip the axis, you know, expand all as well as download the Excel SX. So follow up with your task by using the task analysis in the reporting section of the project module. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.